last time we did the Temple of the Ancients. Uh, this one, please. And this one, please. There we go. We did the Temple of the Ancients. And fucking <laughs> Sephiroth Cat she got crushed trying to get us the black materia, which was the temple. Then Catchy Mark II just showed up, making that emotional moment kinda irrelevant. <laughs> and then just fucking Sephiroth yoinked it out of our hands. Actually, we were under some form of mind control and gave it to him. So even worse. And now... Eris has followed Sephiroth to the City of the Ancients. Because she says she is the only one who can stop him. And of course, we are not going to let that happen. Do you not have any materia equipped? Oh, you do. Okay. I hope all of you have. Yeah, okay. And now it's our job to go after her. Like to the very north of the map. And... Try to stop Sephiroth once and for all. Hey, Kikon, good to see you. I don't know what the quickest way is. Probably through the river again. It's so loud in my ear, my god. Let me adjust that a bit. That's better. I hope audio-wise it's good for you. I couldn't find the dino. I was wondering when the dancing dino comes. It's pretty much part of every stream right now. <laughs> it's fine. That's good to hear. Yeah, I do have the... Um, I do have the ventilator running. Otherwise, I would just... I would just die. I'm already close to dying. Jesus Christ, it's so hot in here. At least it's supposed to get... To cool a little bit down tomorrow or the, the coming week. Because 30 plus degrees is just too much. It's just too much. It doesn't help that most of my hobbies include sitting in a room and having a. what is essentially a very high powered piece of machinery running for hours on end, aka the PC. <laughs> and having a freaking. Uh, vivarium in here with a lizard who also likes it hot. I'm hot too. I feel hot. But not in the way that you are uh, implying. I feel sweaty. And I did shower today already. And I will shower again just like a quick rinse off before I go to bed. Because my god. Otherwise this is not... This is not feasible. I did do another modular patch today. Kikon, you were here for that. Really enjoyed that one. It was a bit more droney than the, the others that I made. La less dark ambient and more drone. It was really fun to do. And I already have an idea for the next patch. I tried to upload a modular synth patch. Uh, every Saturday now. I have two more. I, I, I uploaded one yesterday. And I have two more done. So I'm set for the next two weekends. And I'm not planning on stopping anytime soon. So look forward to that if that's your kind of deal. And yeah, as I said before, there will probably be a live... Like a short little live patching... Someday on stream. Go to... What was this? Welcome to Bone Village. Right. A town for nature lovers. What do you want? Uh, where's the City of the Ancients? City of the Ancients? Oh, you must mean the Forgotten City. Uh, yes, answer please. Okay. <laughs> you clearly know something. You're just not willing to tell me, I guess. Do you know where Ares is? 
Are you talking about that girl? I want her, but she went into the sleeping forest anyway. I love how every single time I talk to him, he tells me that I'm in Bone Village. He basically welcomes me to Bone Town. <laughs> I'm not... I don't think that's appropriate. What are you doing? We're excavating. It's like the land's telling you the history of the planet. Alright. The Luna Harp is somewhere in the ground here. We could excavate it for you if you want us to. Where's the downside? I like getting stuff. Probably fill up on potions. I do have a good amount, pretty much every single consumable. I mean, I can get more high potions. Not a lot of my people have. Like, pretty much every single person that is not in my party. I have one more and two equipped. Let's just buy one more. If I want to switch party members, then I don't have to swap equipment around like a maniac. <laughs> it's just a fucking dinosaur, like, dragon head. With a modern jet fighter. Stuck in its head. You're booking the moving thingy. Really confused by God's expense. Oh yeah, the, the, um... That you get... Mail, um, to your new apartment. When it gets sent to the old one. Yeah, I was I was about to say I think I paid like 50 bucks for a year. Always yeah, always escape uh always always be on on edge when on your what to, on your toes, on your mind's toe. I don't know. My my brain isn't functioning at this temperature. Um yeah, always double check. That's more like it when it comes to stuff like this. We use the newest system to find buried treasure. We simulate earthquakes by using bombs. And I check the sound waves by given, uh, given off tremors. Okay. You can awaken the sleeping forest if you have the lunar hub. Once awake, they say the forest will open a route for you. The girl in pink that just went in also used the lunar hub to get through. I want a lunar hub. Ask the guy in the tent below. Excavating is a slow process. The treasures we excavate are stored in the balls. What? In the box next to the tent. Remember that. The forest just beyond here is called the Sleeping Forest. Right now the forest is asleep and anyone who wanders in while it's asleep, it confuses. You can go in, but you may never come out. But just now a girl in pink and a man in a black cape went in. Think they'll be alright? Hmm. I don't know about that. But yeah, can I get the thing? Start digging! It's not just the Lunar Harp you're after. What else are you having us dig for? <laughs> Good treasure. Alright, then I'll lend you some of my staff. Show us where you want us to dig. What? Oh, it's a fucking minigame. Press the square button. Set your stuff to the position. Uh -huh. Oh, there's not a, there's not a lot of space here. Also, how often do I have to do this? I mean, I do have a pretty good amount of money, so I don't care if I spend like a thousand bucks on this. 
Br press the square button to ignite the bomb for the search. Sure. Each staff member will calculate the tremors and face the buried item. In other words, the point where one staff line of vision point meets is what? The point where the staff's line of vision meet is the dig point. Oh, okay. So they're not just digging where I put them. Such a rich kid thing to say. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Select the dig point by moving to the point and pressing the square button. These are, like, looking directly at each other. <clears throat> okay. I mean, if I had known that I had to triangulate stuff, I wouldn't have placed them so fucking far apart. I think it's, like, here. Now the staff will dig here. The result of the dig will be placed in a town treasure box overnight. One poor guy is digging there. You want some trivia? Got some trivia right here. Thankfully, I still have some <laughs> prepared because I didn't prepare any new one. Um, the microphone, a very famous microphone or audio equipment um, corporation, sure. Um, S H U R E, one of the biggest in the in the business. Um, they make the Shure SM58 that we recently talked about, that I've shown you, which is the most popular microphone in the world. Um, they are the official, like microphone, um, microphone corporation for the U.S. government and the U.S. military. And they're pr pretty much the entire supplier of audio gear to the U.S. military. So they test every single one of their items to military standards. Which includes, like, freezing them to, I don't even know, like, minus 120 degrees Celsius, I think. Heating them up to, I don't know, how, how much degrees. Um, dropping them a lot and... Basically, everything, every single thing that the military asks them to do for tests for their equipment, they just do for the consumer products as well. Which is really cool. I have, like, a contact at Shure from work, and I would really love to go to one of their, like, factory floors and see the testing and the assembly lines, but they do not, obviously they don't manufacture in Germany. They manufacture mostly in, I think, Taiwan. And uh, also in Mexico and a little bit in the US still, but mostly overseas. Bunt line? What the fuck is a bunt line? Oh, it's a weapon. It's a weapon for Vincent. Huh. Do I have something to sell, by the way? Ah, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I have this to sell. How much money do I have? I have... <laughs> 60... Uh, 36,000. Start digging. Oh no, let's go for the freaking Luna Hub that... That we need to progress. Okay, and now let's be smart about this. Since I now know that we... Have to triangulate shit. We can go with like 
four people. <laughs> being smart about things doesn't sound like being fun about things. That is true. Oh, my balls. Okay, never mind then. I wasn't smart. Okay, so there's one thing per dig side, I guess. I thought there would be like multiple things. But no, there's one thing. It's like here. Well, we got it. <laughs> but I want some more stuffs. I mean, if I get a weapon. If I can get a weapon out of it... These are like 500 bucks. If I can get a cool weapon out of it, I definitely want to do it. Yeah, yeah, just, just look in the direction. I mean, this is like perfect, right? This is what I was hoping for before. The two dudes up top were now completely unnecessary. I don't know what you can get from this, but I do like this minigame. It's one of the better ones so far. Not good treasure. Okay. Let's do it one more time. Good treasure, please. I want the good ones. Maybe there is just like one good treasure and I got it. Also, I don't know why, but this, like, burn thing, this looks like an S, this looks like a T, and I don't know why I immediately thought this said slot. <laughs> yes, because my slot error. This could be completely wrong, but I think it's here. It could have been up top, but I think it was there. My drink is already empty, and I'm salty about that. Nothing in here. Okay, that was wrong then. Just one more time. Daddy needs a new pair of feet.
I love that stupid... <laughs> that stupid... Um... A stupid quote. Couldn't think of the word quote for a second. Again, it's very hard in here. It's bad for brain functions. Being salty does dehydrate more, yeah. Being... Being in a room that's as hot as this one also does that. That 28 is hot for your living room. But yeah, it's just way too, it's just way too hot out. It's like right here. I think. <clears throat> also, I feel like I'm getting a sore throat, which is not fair because I just was sick for a week. Well then, fuck my balls. Get some drink? I will. I will before we continue. Which is pretty much right now. We just save. Icicle area? There aren't any icicles in this bone town. going here. Yeah, let me get something to drink real quick. I'll be right back. Let's see what the sleeping forest has for us. Oh! It's this thing. We saw it in the in the in the dream, in the vision. Ah, now I I think I have a whimper in my eye. No, what's it what's it called? An, an eyelash. <laughs> it's not a whimper. Even though I am whimpering. Oh my god, why? <gasps> I hate it when that happens. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's Wimper in German, and I just. It just came out because to whimper is also an English word. It just means a completely different thing. The sleeping forest awoke. Thank you, sleeping forest. What's this? A piece of coral? What am I even fighting? Oh, they're like seahorses. Is this kind of like... Coral and like an underwater scene, even though we're not underwater. I forgot we had the baseball bat. <laughs> nah, I couldn't see anything. That's a shame. Oh, Phoenix down. That's nice. That is pretty nice. I don't know why I catch. Catchy just has 
a bad hit chance. But I mean, we primarily have him as a mage, so it's fine. Also, by the way, Kikon, I did check, and um, today's a break week for for One Piece. Like a complete break week. They don't even they didn't even post any filler. Watering. It's fine. I'd rather have them take break weeks and do like special episodes than them doing actual like in context filler. I don't know what's happening. Why that is happening right now. There we go. What did I get the water ring, right? Because when you do when you do filler, um it stays like in the cannon forever. Oh, drains water attacks, okay. But when you when you take a break week, like Three years from now, no one will remember that there was a break week right now. And the pacing won't suffer. If you go back and rewatch them. And also the pacing for the viewers that watch week to week won't suffer. But yeah, I would have I would have liked to watch some one piece today. <laughs> what are you what can I see from you? Also let me do a little cure action. Maybe a little bio action. sentence? That doesn't sound like something I would want my enemy to know. Oh, it's actually like death. Now there's a countdown. Dazers. I don't know what that is. Let's save the limit break for the next fight. Right, we didn't have Cat Chi for a while, so he's now a bit behind. I'm not trying to be like a stick in the mud. But it does not make sense for the new catchy to be as experienced as the old crushed one. But obviously for gameplay reasons. They couldn't just give you like a level 10 catchy again. That wouldn't that would be terrible. Um what did we get? Dazers, right? Paralyzes one opponent. Okay. Can I get up here? Yes, I can. Already like the music again in this area. Come on, dice! an itchy bag. Mm -hmm. 
So I think we're actually coming... Oh, nice. Coming very close to the end of disc one. I mean, I know I've been saying that for like three streams now. But this is legitimately the final stretch. I just don't know how long this area is. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've been I've been saying that for a while. Because I did think it was the Temple of the Ancients. But it's not, it's this area. I mean as far north as we can go. Uh, this is the city, I see. Or something like that, like runes. Nice music. Oh. This sounds very 90s. Forgotten... Wait, Forgotten Capital? This thing has, like, had a... This thing got, like, three different names. Magic Source. Going to pump that into my boy, Cloud. I mean, you can definitely see that I gave all of these stat-boosting items to Cloud. Although Catchy has way more magic, holy shit. 87. Cloud has 68. And that's because Cloud right now doesn't have as much materia. Look at tiny seven pixel tall Cloud walking over there. I'm already confused where I'm supposed to be going. But there is a treasure chest. Aurora Amulet. I do! Don't, don't make fun of me. Oh, okay. Drains cold attacks. That's really good. But it's also, again, one material slot less. I'm the freaking nail bat is really draining my possibilities. I think I need to get rid of it. I think Cloud needs the sword. Oh no, I sold the sword. I cannot give him the Buster Sword again. Um. Wait. Okay, I didn't see this. Growth, nothing. Well, we should definitely give. Can't cheat something different then, right? Let's give him the diamond bangle. And I think Tifa can... The work glove also doesn't have anything. What, what materia do you have? Um... I mean, the enemy skill is so unnecessary. I just like the idea. I've gotten two. Or, like, three things. No, two abilities. I like the idea. But it procs really rarely. <laughs> I love how Mug is different from Steel, by the way. I'll keep the Aurora Amulet in my inventory for now. There's not a doorway here, right? No. Here? No. I can't go... No, okay. This is a confusing perspective. Maybe just for me, though. I didn't expect him to come out of that place. <laughs> too many pixels, too confusing for my old brain. 
Okay, I, this looks like I have to be doing something here, but I don't, I, I guess I can't do it now. It's on here, nothing? Nothing? Okay, there we go. Can I go in here? Nope. Okay, there were other ways, um, other streets in the city. <clears throat> I knew the freaking nail bed with no material slots would bone me. But I didn't even, even get, him, uh, get him at Bone Town, even though it would have been fitting. Let's go to the right hand side. Why not? This looks so weird. It's like a. Um, I mean, it is a conch. God source. Does that give endurance? Vitality. Pump it into cloud. Pump everything into cloud. In Chrono Trigger, I would hold on to these and give them to Frog because he was my favorite character. Except for the magic, um, the magic pluses, which I would usually hold on to for an insane amount of time before giving them to um, mages or magus. I actually don't know how to tell you to pronounce his name, um, which is my favorite mage in the game. But in this game, Cloud is not really, he's not necessarily my favorite character in the game, but he is the one that you have, I, I know for a fact that you always, why not always, maybe not always, but for the most part have him in your party. So it would make sense for me. Also, it kind of makes sense. I do like Cloud as a character, and so it makes sense to, like, feed him up a bit. We are in luck. There's a bat here. Shall we take a break here? Uh, get some rest? Sure. It's kind of weird that we don't have, um... A save point next to the bed. That's... Save point is like in a different... Okay. Cloud, you... You are right there, buddy? I feel it. What's wrong? What time is it? Does that thing even... Does Catch even have to sleep? Isn't he a robot? Ares is here. And so is Sephiroth. Are you serious, Cloud? But how can you tell? It's not an excuse. I feel it in my soul. If that's true, then we're in for it. We have to find Eris fast. Right. Let's hurry and find Eris. I mean... Do we want to sleep here? Enemy skill material. Well, that worked out so great the first time. <laughs> I would love another all material. I only have one. This one. That was a weird transition. We have to find Ares. Oh, now, well, that's... Now I can't go to the other parts of the city, maybe? Oh, that was maybe a, a way out of the city. Hmm. I think that just shows me... Oh, like, Brazier that I've been to already.
A magus? It does. I always say it magus, but I think it's magus. It's M-A-G-U-S. But a lot of... <laughs> a lot of characters in Chrono Trigger... Basically have descriptors for names. <laughs> like, there's a character that looks like a frog, so he's called Frog. There's a character that's a robot, so his name is Robo. And there's a character who's a mage, so his name is Magus. Magus? I don't know. I, I have to look into that before I uh, replay Chrono Trigger for the bazillionth time. There is his voice. Coming from there? Cloud, without you pointing, I don't know where there is. <laughs> I mean, but this sounds... This looks pretty... Important, story-wise. Oh, it's the it's the the mega conch, uh, the god ray conch. Hello. Hmm. There's just a material in here. Comet. I mean, don't mind if I do, right? Misfire gives Confuse and Berserk. Revive, heal, restore. Definitely need restore. Definitely need time. I like poison. I like the... These. I don't really care about Mystify. Comet. Sure. Also gives way more magic. I don't know what damage type Comet is. Probably like physical. Probably just hurls a freaking stone in your face. Hey, Davey, good to see you. How are you, man? I don't think it's just, okay. I think I have to go like up to the the brazier or whatever. That's the the torch. I'm fine as well. Thanks for asking. It's very very hot in my room it's more than 31 degrees and i'm suffering that's why the uh the fan is in the uh like behind me i sound a lot better i feel a lot better um although i do feel like i'm getting a, a sore throat again since today but i've it's been a lot better than last time like last week last week i was still recovering from being sick and I, w I was uh, really sick there haven't been any random encounters in this entire city That's thunder. Did I go for my tattoo appointment? I did. And I went the wrong way here. I did go for my tattoo appointment. Let me just put up the... Where is it? <laughs> God damn it, Ben. You are a streamer. Get your, get get a grip. Um, This part. We did this part here. It was incredibly annoying. <laughs> it hurt like hell. This was not the worst place so far. That was definitely still, like, uh, this part here. Um, but yeah, this also really hurt. <laughs> but it looks amazing. Everything this artist does looks amazing. I've been happy with every single thing. Yeah, the nice fleshy part here. That really hurt. Especially you can see the, the snake is winding. Well, there we go. Around here again. That was also pretty bad because the needle gets caught. I don't know why my camera is lagging again. But yeah, the, the needle got caught um, dragging this like 
skin along. That was really annoying. But it looks amazing. As per usual. Um, with, uh, with the artist. I went to her specifically because I wanted to have her style on my body. And it was worth every penny so far. Um, yeah. So that was fun. <laughs> I will have... I, th I think it's like two more appointments. And no, there's nothing to do here. I think it's like two more appointments. I have one in the middle of September and then probably another one at the end of October. Where do I go? <laughs> now I'm confused. I thought I had to go here. And then it's probably done. This tattoo that has been in the making for like... Almost two years at that point. I mean, right now we're pretty much at the one and a half year mark. And I already, of course, I already have plans for the next one. <laughs> we'll see when we get to that. I will go to a different artist, though. I like switching up artists. I think it's cool to have different... have tattoos in different styles. But obviously, it's, sometimes you just... It's fun to hang around with uh, the one tattoo artist that you really get along with. So it's kind of sad when you are done with a tattoo and you switch to a different artist. Um, but that's how I prefer it. I like to have different styles with every tattoo. But this obviously has been the biggest one to date. I mean, it's the entire, the entire arm. That's, that's a lot. That's why it took so long. Especially the snake. Ah, uh, that was a... So, that takes so long to do. There's like a pretty new tattoo studio in the city that I live in. And I think I want to go there for the next one. I haven't decided yet, though. Can I leave? I probably can't leave, right? Or he tells me I have to look for errors. Wait, no, I can leave. I don't think this is supposed to be it. Let's go back. I have to tattoo him most likely never will. Part of you would love a massive Lord of the Rings Star Wars Red Dwarf montage on you. That would look awesome. I like mixing and matching. I like the idea of mix mixing and matching different like fandoms and um, like works. And these like college, not not co not um, not college like university. Is this really not the right way? This looks so story important. <laughs> um, like a conglomerate of different different pictures. I think that's a cool idea. Anything here? No, we just get drawn to the to the building. I don't think there's something for me to interact with you. Except for the comet. I don't know. Um, I haven't heard of Red Dwarf. I mean, I know what a Red Dwarf is. But I wasn't aware that it's a sci-fi franchise. It's a favorite sci-fi comedy of all time. I have to check it out then. I do like a good uh, sci-fi comedy. I mean, most of the tattoos that I have are also... Um, influenced by pop culture. I can walk around here. Maybe that's the way then. Mm, no, no, I'm just running around like an idiot. Just a regular Tuesday for good old Ben. I mean, I have a Bloodborne tattoo. I have a Chrono Trigger tattoo. 
the the sleeve is actually the only one so far that's not inspired by pop culture as it is like scenes from Nordic mythology. Started in the 80s, still going on today. It's a classic UK comedy from the BBC. I definitely have to check it out. I do love a good, uh, um, like a lot of BBC comedies. It is rather annoying. I mean, I guess always you can just use a VPN to get access to the BBC. Um, to the BBC online. But it is really annoying to get stuff that's on the BBC when you don't live in Britain. Like, I'm a huge fan of... Um, oh god, I haven't watched it in so long because I wasn't able to get it. What's it called? Inside Number 9? But you can't watch any without a VPN when you're not from the UK. You can't watch anything on the BBC side, or you, I think you can watch like the news and stuff, but not the entertainment shows. The idea is that, well, you don't pay taxes in the UK, and the BBC is tax-funded, so why would you get to watch the stuff for free that they pay for with taxes? I feel like there are not so many places to look for errors here. And I already feel like an idiot. <laughs> so that's nothing new. I can't go there. It doesn't let me. Need to pay a TV license even though this show is 30 years old at this point. Yeah. Is like a way through? No, I just get pushed to the side. I mean, this looks like I can do something here, but I can't. Right? <laughs> Get the DVDs in the bargain bin charity shops. That's why a while ago I got, um... I got a friend of mine, like, Inside Number 9. Is it called Inside Number 9? It's also like a comedy... Um... BBC comedy show. I got a friend of mine DVDs. Like, imported. You used to be able to watch some of them on... On Arte, which is a German-slash-French... Um, tax-funded... TV program. But I guess they lost the rights. Or they can only show the, like, newest season. And have to delete the older ones. I mean, it definitely has to be right here, right? Because this is where we got... Oh, I hear Eris's voice. From there, and then Cloud didn't tell me where there was. It may be. I mean, there may be... Um, another, like, streaming services that has them. Maybe we could see the pillar that we can go to from here. But it doesn't seem to do anything. A nice, like, sleep helper in the form of a comfort show is always a nice thing. In Germany, the, like, 
stereotypical help me get to uh, go to sleep thing is um is an audio play um die drei Fragezeichen it's called the three detectives outside in the world I think or, or Sandman of course but a lot of people listen to uh, the three detectives which is an, an audio um, an audio play series that has been running for 40 years at this point 45 years with like a new episode I think every two weeks and it's insanely popular I've seen them live perform live which was a lot of fun I feel like I need to do something here, but I, I, I'm hitting all the buttons, as you can see. That's Instrumental Dedication, yeah. They lost the license for like two or three years in the 2000s, but they still produced episodes. Hey, Jace, good to see you. They did, still produced episodes just under a different name. Um... Until they got the license back, so they I don't think they missed a like a delivery date for an episode. Audio plays in general are really popular in Germany. The audio play market is I think the biggest in the world. I feel like I've been at every single point. I could have gone to already. Ares! Where the fuck are you? Please don't make me feel like an idiot anymore. <laughs> oh, I, I'm not on the safe spot. There we go. Maybe I can't continue because of cat robot racism. As long as I have cat she in my party. No one wants to talk to me. Which is a shame. Justice for Catchy. He's an amazing character. Even though he betrayed us. Fucking bastard. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, Jace. I'm trying my best. I know it doesn't look like it right now, but I'm trying my best. This is technically... Not my first playthrough, but my first playthrough was like 23 years ago, so I don't remember anything. It's about a, f a Final Fantasy VII that really annoyed you. As you're fully engaged with the story, it gives you no direction. I mean, I know that I have to be here and I have to look for errors. It did tell me that. But there's like a limited amount of places to go. I've been in this freaking screen with the with a with a like conch can i go behind it no it just pulls me up the stairs again like three times at this point hmm you know what let me take a quick bathroom break i did al already almost annihilate the second drink i got Freaking heat wave. I'll be right back and I'll just look up where to go. I don't look any further, but I'll I'll be there in just a second. Thank you, Keycon, for coming to the bathroom break. I will get the trivia after the break uh the bathroom break, Davy. I I really need to pee. I'm sorry. <laughs>
Okay. It's raining outside, which is really nice for temperature. Uh, let me check. Dave, you wanted some trivia. I have some. I don't have a lot of more. Any I have to prepare some for the next stream. Um, the Guinness World Records that are coming from the Guinness Beer Company and in the early uh, uh, in the early 1900s there was a what, what they called a shooting party I guess where they just shot at things like rich rich UK people shooting at things um, that was before Ireland seceded from the UK and the head of um, Guinness was there. Um, and he... <laughs> they were arguing, like these upper crusty UK people were arguing about what the fastest game bird in Europe is. And they couldn't find it. They couldn't find it in their like books that they had in their like private libraries. And it apparently it was such an aggravating topic for all of them that he went home and was like, I have to research this. There has to be an authority on every single record. What's the fastest? What's the strongest? What's the everythings? And he just made that with his beer brewery money. That's how he got the Guinness Book of World Records. And his name was Hugh Beaver, which is also a fun little tidbit. Man, I don't have a lot of trivia prepared anymore. I need to get some more. Pick up. But I did look up where I have to go. These are fucking stairs. <laughs> I hate myself. I knew this building was important. And I knew I was an idiot. <laughs> Any Final Fantasies around this era? More of a strategy buff nowadays. Um, RTS or turn-based? I haven't played a good RTS in so long. I think I'm too slow for it now. The cliche of an old gamer who was too slow for RTSs. Stealth stairs? I feel like they were they were pretty obvious. I'm just an idiot. <laughs> yeah, once I once I uh, saw it as well, I I thought they were obvious too. But I was running around for so long, man. We're already at an hour. We haven't done anything except digging for bones and fought a few seahorses oh cutscene there she is oh is oh is this it oh is this it Eris? Too much trivia, not enough chocobo racing. Yeah, a day in my life. There's never enough chocobo racing in my life. Oh, I just have to... The perspective is fucking with me again. What? Okay, there we go. Read time is more stressful and anxiety-inducing, yeah. But there are a lot of... Especially, um... Like, I don't. I think it's a pretty dead genre. I don't think a lot of RTSs are released these days. Not like quick paced like StarCraft. I mean, Age of Mythology is getting a remake or remaster or whatever. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I love Age of Empires. <gasps> there we go. Getting my nail bat out. I can't like thrust at her.
What am I doing? Cloud, stop! Oh, I'm manipulated again. Makes sense. Oh, what are you making me do? Oh, the, yeah, this is it. Eris. I mean, this is one of the most famous story moments in any JRPG, right? I feel like not a lot of people don't know about this today. But... This was a huge shock! When people first played this game. Still, when a lot of people are kind of like... They can stay in their bubble. And don't get spoiled on this moment. And they get here. It takes them by surprise. It's really effective. It really is. And it's it's not helped by the fact that Eris is such a great character. I mean, it is helped by the fact. You know, it hurts more. <laughs> don't thrust the sword at a young lady. My name is not Benjamin. <laughs> You're not talking to me. This can't be real. Do not worry. Soon the girl will become part of the planet's energy. All that is left is to go north. The promised land awaits for me over the snowy fields. There I will become... Shut up. Cycle of nature and your stupid plan don't mean a thing. Benjamin is definitely more common, yeah. But it is Benedict. I feel like Benedict has gotten a surge since frickin' Bavarian uh, became Pope. No, Benjamin's not the English. It's, it's, they're different names. I mean, there are... Think of Benedict Cumberbatch. There are British people that are named Benedict. It comes from different words. Benjamin comes from Hebrew, I think, and Benedict comes from Latin. But it is less common in English-speaking countries, definitely. Eris is gone. Eris will no longer talk, no longer laugh, cry, get angry. What about us? What are we supposed to do? What about my pain? Fingers are tingling, my mouth is dry, my eyes are burning. What are you saying? Are you trying to tell me you have feelings too? Of course! Who do you think I am? <laughs> Stop acting as if you were sad. There's no need to act as though you're angry either. Because, Cloud, you are... Whee! In a boss fight. <laughs> I was- I am a Benedict. Aqualon? Probably can't steal. Oh my giddly god. Ah. 
Ah, that's fine with me. I love that in this boss fight, the sad music, like... Um... Aris' theme is still playing. Which, it is a beautiful song. You hear it so often during the game. Oh my god. Tifa's a boss killer. <laughs> a freaking baseball bat. Kinda takes you out of the moment. There we go. Limit breaks kinda make that fight pretty easy. Opening with Aqualung often finishes people who aren't prepared. Yeah, it did t It did do a lot of damage. Um, so I guess if I had less XP, if I were like five levels lower, I definitely would have just died. Which really takes the energy out of the emotional moment when you have to do it again, right? I feel like that's not really... That's, they, that's not something that should happen. You really- this new moment needs to sit with you. And repeating it because you died to the boss fight kind of feels weird. But we did do- I did do some, um, optional things. I did a bit of grinding early on because I wanted to get, um, Yuffie pretty early and it took a while. I did Wutai already, um, before I even went to the temple, so... I got some, like... I got some XP, and I'm really happy for it now, because I wouldn't want to repeat that for the world. Ooh, a wizard bracelet. Bayer co- oh, it's a, it's a typo. Because you are a puppet. I'm a puppet? Yeah. Yeah, it really did. As a kid, I didn't even like Ares that much. I don't know why, she's an amazing character. But it still got me when I played it as a kid. It's still kind of getting me now, even though I knew it was coming. This was not unheard of at the time. But it was really rare. It still is really rare for a game to kill off one of its main characters. She goes. They did kill Ark several times in Terranigma, yeah. Terranigma's fucked up. Terranigma has a lot of fucked up moments. <laughs> I remember when I when I streamed it for the first time, getting to the part that, that really like fucked me up as a, as a child, and seeing people react for the first time to the goat, like after the avalanche, eating its own brother. And offering you part of its own brother? That fucked me up. That's, that game has a lot of fucked up emotional scenes. It's a great game. Everyone listen to me. 
I'm Cloud, ex-soldier, born in Nibelheim. I came to settle up with Sephiroth. What's going on? I came here by my own free will, so I thought. However, to tell the truth, I'm afraid of myself. There is a part of me that I don't understand. That part that made me give the black materia to Sephiroth. If you hadn't stopped me, Eris might have been... There's something inside of me. A person who is not really me. That's why I should quit this journey. Before I do something terrible. But I am going. He destroyed my hometown five years ago, killed Eris, and is now trying to destroy the planet. I'll never forgive Sephiroth. I I must go on. Just got a notification that your battery says five percent. <laughs> All right, man. If it doesn't work out, uh, I will be on this Wednesday. It took a while, but uh, we will get some more Metroid Prime remastered on Wednesday. Yeah. If we don't see each other until then, have a great start to your week, man. I have a favor to ask of you. Will you all come with me? To save me from doing something terrible. What, you? We're all in this together. I don't know how Ares tried to save the planet from the media. But I guess now we'll never know. But, we still have a chance. We must get that black materia back before Sephiroth uses it. Let's go. Save the game to this point. Yes, please. Please give me more than one. I did check again how to switch discs let me see if i can make a please insert disc two hi yuffie good to see you i already did that press again to quit no uh menu toggle f1 disc control eject disc finally finally i have to choose current disc no Back. Load new disk. Disk 2. Did it work? Did it work? It did not work. Disk options. Next disk. What? <laughs> Close virtual. Oh, I had the. What? Oh, I had the vir. I had the virtual tray still open. I guess. Okay, it worked. <laughs> With a little bit of a hassle, it worked. Sephiroth, I wonder which way you went. Ugh. Yeah, maybe the one direction that I couldn't go to before. I mean, this is pretty much, they, they say it, it's a legacy feature to switch on the fly. You can, and I didn't realize this until way later. You can just make a disc playlist for RetroArch. And then it will just automatically load the next disc when um, the prompt shows up. The soundtrack is so wonderful. It's so very... like mid-90s when it comes to the samples. They really weren't there yet. Having like... instruments? A real, like a real orchestra play the music? It's definitely still like... Samples and synths. But 
it was a, a step in a different direction. Like, quality-wise, definitely more than 16-bit um, consoles. And they really show off what they could do with the, with the new, very, like, synthy samples. I love it. I mean, obviously I love it. Just look at this thing. Of course I like synths. <laughs> Cloud, are you all right? Hmm. Several... Uh, can't speak today. Sephiroth said to me, head north past the snowfields. All right, buddy, will do. Like this, these wow, 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 wow. That's that was so very like 90s th synthy. I love it. Oh, it's like a. Oh. I just, it took a while for me to realize what was happening there. Me liking synth? What a surprise. Yeah, it's not like I spent a lot of money on my synth. <laughs> I want to get that chest, though. Whoop. Oh my god. I don't know why that scared me. Oh, they didn't even heal me. Bastards. I'm slow now. That's cool. Have I said that I already have a new modular patch idea? <laughs> I don't know if I will make it happen tomorrow, but... Otherwise, the week's pretty full, so I don't know when I will get to it. But yeah. It's... If it wasn't so warm today, I probably would have started the new patch. I would have had more energy. Let's make Tifa drink some potions. It's still so crazy that Eris is just not a part of this. I mean, she is still part of this game, but she's not a part of our party anymore. She's just gone. What did I get? I got Comet, right. It just is chugging a rock at them. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. How did you not die from that? Okay. Oh, okay. That's like a death spell. Nice. Level up for Ramu. Viper Halberd. I think that's like the third weapon in a row for probably Sid that I haven't given to him yet. I still have the Trident at least. <laughs> yeah, it's a weapon for Sid. I mean, we'll we'll see if we switch around the, the party again sometime. We probably will, at one point. There are so many good characters in this game. Bit of like when Gandalf died in the Lord of Ring, yeah, definitely. In fact, I have... <laughs> I know, I just have to show off. Um, you can't really see it up there, but this is a... Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I was... I was distracted by the freaking waving piece of coral there. Hi, guys! Um, see if I can steal from him. Um, this there is a an original animation cell 
from the Lord of the Rings animated movie from the 70s, from like 78. Um, and it is pretty much right after Gandalf's death. It's when they leave the Mines of Moria. I haven't watched the Peter Jackson Lord of the Ring in so long. I should make I should make a I should make an appointment with myself, I was about to say. But I should watch them again. It's been it's been quite a while. And yeah, that is a really raw moment. It's one of my favorite moments in, in Lord of the Rings. Gandalf is one of my favorite characters. It is, it is, that's why I was like, I don't really want to brag, but it, it really fit. It's one of the coolest things I own, definitely. What are you? Oh, don't mini me. This is such a nice little break. Very simple, but hey. It does what it's supposed to do. And I like the little random element. I mean, my favorite Final Fantasy VI character is Setsa, so that shouldn't come as a surprise. This them? No, only this one, I guess. Oh, I see. I'm just climbing like in between. Right, please. I want me wants that. Maybe. Do we have to drop from above. Oh, bold amulet. Didn't I do that? I like, tried to open it from below? No, I, I can't do it here. Hmm. There is a materia down that ladder. Or whatever that's supposed to be. I have to remember that. Oh, I can go down here. That makes sense. There we go. Hypno crown. Excuse me? Increases manipulation range. Oh! If I were to use that spell, which so far I haven't really. Oh wait, the, it's a bolt amulet. Yeah, it's the same as the Aurora one. I really need to get better weapons. Like weapons with materia slots for... Um... Tifa and... For Tifa and Cloud. More like physical damage is nice. But it's definitely... Up, please. It's definitely hurting me to have less material slots. Megalixia. Always, always nice to have. Down, please. Oh, he's climbing all on his own. Uh, go 
do it, Cloud. You can make it. No! No! I ran the wrong way. Fucking hell. <laughs> Down, please. God damn it. Now I'm not a fan of him climbing automatically anymore. <laughs> down, just, just hold down. Magic plus. You remember doing that? Okay, thankful. Thankfully, I don't feel... That makes me feel less stupid. <laughs> Thanks for saying that. I mean, Magic Plus, that seems like something I need for for good old cat, right? I mean, do I even need Shiva? I mean, you, the summons are good. I'm not alone, yes. Thankfully. Um... Yeah, I can swap out ice. Okay, while he's climbing, I'm taking another quick bathroom break. I'll be right back. It is quite windy outside, but still hot as balls. At least I didn't I didn't pray it down. Oh, now I have to climb on my I have to climb on my own. Okay. I really don't remember anything past this point. I've said this so many times during this playthrough. But I mean, I did, um, I did remember, like, some of the big stuff, obviously. Like, Eris's death, I did remember. But after this, until the end, I don't really remember anything. It's been too long. Freaking little, little gremlin guys summoning a xenomorph skull. I'm also really looking forward to. I still haven't decided whether I will immediately jump into Final Fantasy VIII after we're done with seven. There's a pretty high possibility that I will do that. Because I've been looking forward to playing through the Final Fantasy games for so long. And it would finally be like an almost entirely new one to me. Where is it? Power source. Um, but there is also the chance that I will play something in between. Probably something short, short-ish. Maybe a Zelda game or something. Replay a Zelda game. I do have a list. I could check. I've heard a lot of great things about Nine. Um, my story with Final Fantasy um, is that I have not played. I played Seven when I was a child and was pretty new. 
I didn't have a PlayStation, so I borrowed one from a, from a friend. And then, um, when 8 came out, I borrowed his PlayStation again. Played for like four hours, didn't like it. Never touched a Final Fantasy again for like 10 years, more than 10 years. Um, then I played 6, because I was a big fan of Chrono Trigger. I, I was a big fan of Super Nintendo games and was um, discovering some Super Nintendo games that I didn't get to play as a child. Found Chrono Trigger, loved it, favorite game. Um, thought other, uh, sought other games like it, found 6, played 6, loved it, didn't touch another Final Fantasy for like 6 years. And then I watched some content creators like Lobos Jr. play through the Final Fantasy games, which they also haven't hadn't played. Like especially Lobos had only played like one or two. And I said, you know, I want to do that as well. So I started, I played one through six, and then I started streaming in 2020 for the first time. And I was like, I don't really want to continue with seven. I want to have like, I want to archive my streams on YouTube, and it would be cool if I had, like, 1 through 6 on there as well. So I played 1 through 5, again. Stopped streaming. Started streaming a bit again. Started with 6. Um, my PC couldn't handle, like, streaming. There was something really wrong with it, so I stopped again. And when I started again, I didn't want to start 6 a third time in a row. So I started with 7 again. But I want to play through all the Final Fantasy games because I legitimately have not played any Final Fantasy game past 7. I have no idea. I hear a lot of good things about 9. I think I will love 9. I think from what I've heard, talking with a friend of mine, I will love 12. I mean, I played 14, but that's a MMO. I, I'm counting the single player ones now. I haven't played any of this. It's like the biggest JRPG franchise, which is one of my favorite genres, and I haven't played them. This is what this is pretty much about. So yeah, I will probably jump immediately into Final Fantasy VIII or play something like smallish in between. 7, 8, 9, 12, and 13. I, again, I hear a lot of good things about... Oh, so you, you immediately skipped... Oh no, 12 is on PlayStation 2, right? I know that a lot of people say that the three PS1 games are the best. But a lot of people also really like 10. Oh. Goodbye, little snow wolf. That was, that was fast. I personally, I, I do like the old school 2D vibes. I really, I know I'm probably like the only person in the world. I love Final Fantasy 3. And I don't mean 6. I don't mean the misnomered 3. I mean, uh, actual Famicom 3. It is one of my favorite games. I love it so much. A lot of people really like 10. 10 is also the first, like, with voice acting, because they didn't really have the space for it um, on the PS1 discs, I guess. And they went all out with that. The story is supposed to be amazing. I'm really looking forward to... I'm looking forward to all of those games. Because pretty much for every single Final Fantasy, you find someone who says that it's their favorite. Does it say nothing to steal or not possible to steal? Nothing to steal. I guess wolves don't really have pockets. Even 13 and 15, which apparently a lot of people don't like, you will find someone who says that it's one of their favorites. Like. I, I know people that love 13 for the gameplay. They they say they don't like the story, but they say the gameplay is amazing. My best friend loves 12, even though pretty much no one is talking about Final Fantasy 12. It's like the second least talked about Final Fantasy game, I feel like. Behind 3, which I love. My god, is that a bunny? Can I steal from the bunny? Ow! That fucking hurt. Oh, the bunny doesn't have anything to steal either. That's a shame. 
I should probably use a tent. Yeah, let's not be stingy with tents. That's what I bought them for. And so, playing through Final Fantasy games is like... Uh, let's arrange... It's also, like, part of... <laughs> I feel like education for me. Part of my video game education. Because I didn't get to play these games. For the most part. When they were... Um, when they came out. It's a pretty big gap in my, like, video game history education, I feel like. That I'm going to remedy now. Another big game that we'll, we'll play probably on the Wednesday slot, though. I don't want to have... I don't want to play a, lo a long game in between the Final Fantasies, which are also pretty long and all just getting longer. Is that I want to play through the Persona games. Um, because I played... Oh, I have one more. I played Persona 5 recently. Loved it. And because I'm a sicko, I um, decided to go all the way back. Oh my god! <laughs> nice one, Tifa. Just fucking pile drive that dog. Um, because I'm a sicko and I want to see how franchises evolved, I want to go all the way back to Persona 1. See how that plays out. And even though that's not as, um, not as long a game as Persona 5 is, it is still pretty long. And like, I think how long to beat has it as like 50 hours. Organics for Clouds is a sick weapon coming up. I mean, everything is better than the freaking <laughs> Mayo Bat. Don't get me wrong, I like the aesthetic of the nail bat. I think it's funny. And it does a lot of damage. I'm not having any material slots really starting to bother me. But I'm not doing like a completionist playthrough. Never have when it comes to these games. I prefer, uh, prefer playing through these games, like, organically. There's a dog! Yes, good dog. You can equip Sid with a mop. That's amazing. I hope it's a strong weapon. Grandpa, wake up! We have a customer! Oh, welcome! Oh, that's still the girl, I think? I don't know. Welcome! Organics. Dragon Claw, Micro Laser. I really have to see what the other characters have. Like what? Can't use the PM PHS again in here. Let me switch. Um, switch every character in to give them their current best weapon that I have, so I can have like my inventory cleaned up. Actually, let me check if Cat She has the best weapon. I hope he does. He doesn't. <laughs> oh, but it doesn't have any slots. Slate reminds you of Canada. I've never been to Canada. I really want to go. Um. You currently have your best gun. You don't, Seraphcom. And then I know that I can sell every weapon that I don't currently have equipped. Okay, like apparently I don't have anything for Yuffie. I haven't really had Yuffie in my party at all, right? I haven't used her so far. Silver Rifle again has nothing, so I'm giving him the bunt line. 
And I got two weapons for Sid that I haven't given him yet. Sid is also a cool character. Oh. The worse than the Dragoon Lands. I guess because we got the Dragoon Lands from Wutai. Which is like optional and probably meant to be tackled later. Because it was pretty tough, especially the boss fight. Hello, I'm back again. Wake your grandpa up. <clears throat> and then let me sell the weapons I don't need. The trident and the shotgun. And this. And this. And this. And this. Okay. Yes. Material slots. Gimme. Yes, material slots, gimme. Sure. Oh, that's a way better weapon for Vince Vincent. I mean, I... <sighs> Outfitting every single character is so expensive. I'm not going to give weapons to the guys that I don't currently have in my party. Even though I love Sid, I love 13, I love all of these characters. And I can see myself switching in Red and especially Vincent again. But yeah, let's just stick with the characters that I have right now. Oh, it also has more attack, more attack percent, which I don't still don't really know what that does. I think it's like a chance. Oh my god, more material slots. Let me work with that in a second. But how do these guys just live past the Forgotten City? Um... Ah, their workload. That's not to think about it too much. You can get Ice, which you had already. Or you can get Mystify, sure. can finally get counter-attack again. Ah, uh, sure. Another enemy skill. Calgary specifically. Snow on the ground eight months a year. I know for a lot of people that sounds like hell. For me, that sounds like paradise. <laughs> Attacks with paired materia absorbs HP at the same time. You booked a one-way ticket to Malaga afterwards. I hate the heat. I know a lot of people love it. Um, I'm just... I'm just exactly the opposite. Uh, sure. Let's do lightning with, like, MP steel. MP absorb. Just have to remind that. Have to remember that. So you're traveling a lot? Let's give it a chocobo lure again, just for the one plus luck. Sure, why not give her a manipulate? Do you have sense again? No, you don't, right? You definitely get sense again. And... Sure, barrier, so we can level it. 
But I don't really want to give you anything else. Ah, uh, maybe morph. Just for leveling. I don't want to give her any magic material to because of her. I don't want to decrease her strength. In your twenties, not now, unless it's work. Yeah, that's often the case, right? You just don't have the time anymore. But it's great that you get to experience. Yeah, you were able to experience it in your twenties. Hi, dog! Time to go into some random people's houses again. My boy got hurt right about the time we moved here. I never should have bought him a snowboard. Um, oh, oh, that's a cat. I was like, is that a monkey? Oh, no. Poor kid. I don't know why I have such an itchy back right now. I can't really get to it. Next time, I'm gonna make an even bigger one. It's almost finished. Oh, I'm there. I was like, well, where am I? I love this, like, part interior, part exterior. Hero drink? Vaccine? Am I going to get, like... 5G access with this? That would be amazing. I guess it's not something that I can use. Hero drink. Raise his ability once during battle. Okay. Vaccine. Protects against transformations. Okay. Another cat. I don't want to. I don't. <laughs> didn't want to talk to the cat again. My husband left 20 years ago and still hasn't come back. He should at least be at the foot of the Gaia Cliffs. Smug with a check on the map. Like 20 years ago? Cat! The master is an experienced climber, you know. I've heard that he knows every corner of the Great Glacier. Who the fuck is the master? It's nearly impossible to reach the northern limits without a map. If you're thinking about going to the northern limits, you better take that map on the wall. You need to talk to the cat, it sounds important. There we go. It was important, you were right. Look at the map. My god. I don't understand a thing. Let's just take it with us. Glass here map. Is this not the inn? I guess this isn't the inn. <laughs> You're welcome. I probably won't be streaming much longer tonight. I do feel it in my throat. Oh, that's the inn. I don't know why. I don't. I was just sick like two weeks ago. I don't know why I have a sore throat again. It's super annoying. The cat has some sound advice. That's a cool. Is that a global emote? It is a global emote. I haven't seen that before. That's that looks awesome. I just hope it cools down. It should cool down this week, at least a little bit, because it's, it's way too way too hot for me. Who? Oh, what is this? Don't get too close or it'll burn ya. Are you just... Are you guys just sitting there in your boxers? Well, luck! We came all this way. Crap. You heard about the gnarly hell in this town? They tell me it's off limits. We came from Costa del Sol to snowboard. We're just about to leave. How did you get here? Did you go through the forbot Forgotten City? Do you remember the fucking sleeping forest that you apparently had to have a special item for for it to let you through? What do you mean you came here to snowboard? 
What do you mean? It's colder than usual today. It's 20, uh, 200 gil if you want to spend the night. Sure. What is this? Like, oh, it's a bar. Welcome. You look like a strong one. If you want, I could lend you an ear. Sure. Or could you lend me an ear? Um, apparently didn't read that right. I get bored listening to his stories. Oh, okay. Am I boring you? Ah, oh, no, man. I just met you. Do you know what a Cetra is? What was the Cetra? Oh yeah, it's the same as the Ancients, right? Yeah, Cetra lived in this town a long time ago. Her name was Ilfalna. If Ifalna. She knew about a lot of things. What do you mean? I heard she was abducted by the Shinra and was taken somewhere. Shinra and the Ancients. I smell something fishy. Was... Ifalna... The name of Eris's mother? It's been too long for me to remember. I heard some guy went to the Great Glacier in the north. What an idiot. Is he thinking about... About going to the hot spring? It is? Okay, nice. He's probably gonna get lost in the glacier and freeze to death. No matter how well equipped he is. Out there in that cold on the glacier, I give him two days at the most. You thinking of going north? That's my plan. Well, if you're going past this town, you'll need a map. Maybe there's one left at Mr. Holtzoff's house. He used to be a mountain climber. Mr. Holtzoff, huh? I got the map already. I've heard there's a snow woman at the Great Glacier that hates hot springs. But I think it's just a myth to scare off visitors. I talked with everyone. I mean, I can't really speak to the guy behind the counter. Kids, please. Why would one hate hot springs? I don't know. I mean... What the fuck is this? Hello? I love hot springs. I, I do... Despite me hating hot temperatures, I do like, like, sauna and hot springs, especially when it's cold out. Because I like the... the contrast. You know, going... Staying in a hot sauna and then... Going out into the snow. That's an amazing feeling. It's also really good for your circulation, apparently. I would love to go to the to a sauna again. How do I? Oh, oh, okay. Wait a second. The perspective is super weird. There we go. Turbo ether, nice. That's a an interesting bed. I love the like the implied alcoholism of whoever lived here. Look at all the bottles. Okay, weird ass, just a weird ass house with no explanation. I love it. No, don't. It's a steep downgrade past here. It's dangerous, please don't go. I'm still going. Damn, I was just being nice. What the? Who are those people over there? Looks like trouble. Oh, hi, it's you again. <laughs> there they are, hurry! Yes, ma'am. Ah, 
Hi. Cloud, I won't let you go any further. She's got like the seventh voice that I've done. What's down there? It's a secret. It really doesn't matter. But you really got guts doing my boss in like that. You mean boss... Zeng? That wasn't us. Sephiroth did it. No. Don't think you could fool me, liar. I'm not lying, it was Sephiroth. Don't try to act innocent. I'll never forget it. Oh man. Looks like talking alone won't cut it. You're going to have to feel some pain. Just you and me. No, I can't handle him. There's no way he can avoid my punch. What? Y yeah. Dodge that punch. Directional up, left, right. It's... Uh, excuse me. It's... <laughs> Why didn't you try to avoid it? I was trying to avoid it. <laughs> Fuck. I pressed left. I swear I did. There's no way they can climb the Great Glacier anyway. Put them in some house in the village. Oh, we're in the weird house, okay. Is my stealth level? Yeah, it's non existent, apparently. I mean, I can't just leave. <laughs> hey, kid. Hi, snowboarding. Hi, guys. This village is now under ma <laughs> martial law. Kick his butt. Stop it, there's kids around. Listen, I probably shouldn't tell you, but I hear something big's going down up north. President's gonna be there, so uh, would you please just lay low for a while? Why didn't I just kick his butt? I don't... Don't be angry, I'm just doing my job. I mean, true. Who is that man? True, but still. Give me a snowboard. No? Okay. Why does he put- I don't know. He's just- he's just the classic, like, corporate worker. He just doesn't give a shit. Which I can emphasize with. Sorry, I just took off a while ago. Looked like there was going to be trouble. Anyhow, you'll need a snowboard to get down that hill. Want me to teach you how to ride one? Alright, uh, Jace, thanks so much for dropping by. It's really fun getting to uh, getting to know you for a bit. Really appreciate your enthusiasm for these games. I hope you have a great weekend. And if you want to come back, I will stream this again next Sunday. Um, really appreciate it. Of course you don't have to do that, but... I hope you have a grand end to your weekend. To your weekend. You won't miss any more, by the way. I will stop pretty soon. Pretty much on the next safe, uh, safe spot. Uh, yeah, maybe you should. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! That's uh, way too much. Okay, directional input and R's. Uh, R's. Like etching, not that ed not that etching. Kick off when stopped. Left, right, okay. Cause more tutorials, yeah. Another minigame. Down is break. That's also break. And the X button is jump. That doesn't seem too bad. I told you, you can't. Why not? I thought I was supposed to snowboard. I, I thought you... Without a snowboard. Oh, I don't have a snowboard. This is a snowboard. Please, just give it to me. Of course I can't snowboard without having a snowboard. That makes sense. Maybe ask her? Right, that's a good idea, actually. I mean, it's more like a sled, I guess. It's not really a snowboard. <laughs> Sledding's fun. Yeah, it's a sled. It's not a snowboard. Oh, 
Oh, right, this kid had a... There it is. This kid has a snowboarding accident. I got hurt on my snowboard. Now I can't go out for a while. Hey, I'll give you my snowboard. Thanks, kid. I kind of need that. Going to break my neck. Be careful. Oh, I won't. <laughs> oh my god, it's an actual snowboarding minigame. Can't see that I'm able to snowboard again in a few <laughs> weeks, so I'm just giving it away, yeah. Okay. That's a jump. Nice. Up! Oh, it's just the R button, not the L button. I snowboard about as well in real life. I'm a, I'm a skier. I tried snowboarding one time and I got annoyed with not being able to do stuff that I was just, that would have been easy for me on ski. So I just never tried to snowboard again. <laughs> I just stuck with skiing. Ah! Freaking Koopo. I don't know if there's a, a goal for me except getting down. Like getting balloons. Ow. <laughs> you probably get something if you get a good time, which I am super not. I didn't get the green one, damn it. This is kind of fun, though. Oh my god, my face! <laughs> I jumped too early, I think. <laughs> Fucking. Oh, okay. Ow. Okay, yeah, that's not really working out for me. Wow. You can't steer midair. But so far, this is, has been one of the more... Oh my god, never mind then. Oh my god, never mind. I was about to say one of the more fun minigames, but... This is stressful now. This is just stressful. Okay, thank you. Oh my god, chocobos! Fat chocobos! Nice jump me. <laughs> that the the forest was stressful. Um fuck I went right. Even though good adventures go left. Chocobos are amazingly cute. Oh my god. I really struck gold with like the, the chocobo design. As early as Final Fantasy 2. And it's just gotten better over the years. <laughs> Left! This time! Oh my god. How long is this track? Mm. 
there's no mu- th I just realized that there's no music. This feels weird because there's no music. Oh my god, bye! Fucking bye! Okay, I didn't- I, When the music started up again, I thought I was in the town again. And I would have been very annoyed. Ah. Oh, they use like static to mimic the, the the blizzard. That's clever. I guess we're still in one piece. Just, silly cloud. There's no one piece episode tonight. Everyone alright? Yeah, somehow. A little off. So where did we land? We've jumped pretty far. Oh yeah, we got a map, right? Let's look at the map by pressing the square button. It sure is cold. We'll freeze if we stay here any longer. We're at the tree. And we have to get, I guess, to the checkpoint? To the check mark? I wish I could save here, but I can't. And I already can't open the map anymore. <clears throat> Continue, Claw. That is something that I legitimately don't like about these old games. You should be able to save anywhere. I mean, with the power of emulation, I could save anywhere. I'm just hoping that we are going to get out of this pretty quickly. It wouldn't be immersive anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It definitely wouldn't be like the OG way of playing anymore. Like how people experience this game for the first time. Fucking Tifa has so many skills now. the map anymore. Oh, I can't go up top, I guess. Oh, now I can. Okay, yeah, I went the right direction. We're at the... We're at the lock across the river. So I'm going to go further to the west, because that seems to be a village there. I guess I can only open the map 
when there is a landmark. That I can identify on the map. Bonk. Hello, creepy ice lady. Are you the lady that dislikes hot springs? Take some dice! Some more lizards. Oh, I mean, Comet is pretty expensive. I should have thought of that. Yeah, 70 MP is a lot <laughs> for one spell. Wait, where the fuck am I now? Yeah, that's not a village. That's just like a cave. Saved an elixir. Oh, okay. Yeah, I am. Oh, yeah, that was the face up there. Okay, let's just go back there and go to the check mark and if I can't save at the check mark then I may save in the emulator because I'm getting pretty tired kick the dogs kick the other dog Oh wait, I did I did it the wrong way. I wanted to heal with cloud. I know I am. <laughs> but thanks for confirming it. It's still more than 30 degrees in here. That was the face. So now we should be on our way to the check mark. I don't want to work tomorrow. <laughs> I know I say that every Sunday, but it's true every Sunday. Ah, at least maybe I will do another modular patch tomorrow after work. We'll see. Yeah. 
You don't have any meetings tomorrow. Oh, that means the day is probably going to come to like a crawl. Oh my god, just bonk that lizard. I just have my typical meeting. Oh, it's automatic, okay. Snow as far as you can see, but I watch where I walk. I place a landmark and start walking. I don't know where to go. I guess I have to go in there. Hi, Ice Dragon. Do you have anything to see? Yeah, that they keep that six. Yeah. That looked like it hurt. It hurt a bit. A good amount. Decent amount of hit. Let's just heal up. Received an all materia! I was just complaining about not having enough of those. Um, I mean, do I want all bio? Uh, all comet? <laughs> or do I want all. I, I guess I want all haste, right? I definitely want all haste. And I don't really care for Mystify. And I can't save you. Complaining did work. So I guess that's not the real way to go then? I don't have any more sticks. <laughs> oh, now I can. I guess the sticks are just for me not... That I don't walk in a circle. But I don't know which direction I'm supposed to go. Oh, something happened now. Oh, this looks good. Or to find my way back, yeah. <gasps> Safe spot, yes, please. Let's use a tent. And that's safe. There we go. And now I will save. In the emulator. I do have to remember next time to load this too. <laughs> okay, but we made it. And two and a half hours, that's a decent length for a stream. That was fun. And we did get the big moment in this game, Eris' death. Oh man, it's still hit. But yeah. I think this is a great place to stop. We'll see what Sephiroth will be doing next time, next Sunday. And on Wednesday, finally, after a few weeks, we will be playing Metroid Prime Remastered again. Really looking forward to that. Thank you so much for being here, really appreciate it, as always. 
hope you have a great start to your week. Stay safe, stay healthy, everyone, and see you soon.